When Trubber died young, after years of dogged refusal to capitulate, Noble was incapacitated. Rodney Cavalier captured the distressing personal drama so evocatively in his foreword to Monty's biography. And I quote, Noble's devotion to comrades, and this is a word of much substance for a man steeped in political convention, was a sig signature of the man, evinced in reports of Monty by the open grave as the body of the sublime and immortal Victor Trumper was lowered. The finality of Vic's death overwhelmed Monty Noble. Literally, he fell apart at the realisation Vic was gone forever. One reporter described the sight of Monty as pathetic, the word employed in its correct meaning. They were very close.